everyone. My name is Katie Cleary, and I am a program manager with Magic. And I'm so excited because I'm here today with one of our lovely mentee mentor pairs from the girls middle school. Um, and before we get started on our conversation, I'd just love for both of them to introduce themselves. Uh, Melissa, could you start us off? Yes. Um, hi, my name is Melissa, and I'm a sixth grader at the girls middle school. Hi, I'm I'll go for it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jamie. Um, I'm a software engineer at Slack. I live in Colorado and I'm a mentor here at Magic. Great. Thank you both so much. Um, first, I just want to say congratulations on an amazing session of work and uh, just such a wonderful presentation um, this past week. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Melissa, can you tell us uh, what your project was and why you chose it? Yeah, um, my project was a multiplayer basketball game. So two players can play in different devices. And the goal was to score eight points before the other player so you can win. And I chose to do this project because I like basketball and I personally think games are really fun. So mm -hmm. I thought maybe um, other people can enjoy playing it and I can have fun making it too. Great, and were you inspired at all while you were building your game by all the March Madness, particularly around the women's basketball games? Um, yeah, I can say like, um, well, yeah, I just think I was just inspired by like, I liked basketball, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's great. Do you have a position that you play on your team or do you change positions? Uh, we change positions, but I enjoy playing defense. Yeah. Okay. Oh, great. Okay. Um, and so was mm -hmm. building the game more complex than you originally thought? Um, yeah. Um, I had to find like the characters and like the background. And I hadn't like really thought of that before. And it was a little challenging, but it was fun. That's great. We always like to hear that it's fun. <laughs> um, Jamie, can you tell us what it was like working with Melissa this session? Yeah, working with Melissa was really fun. We did a few iterations on the game. Like we proved to ourselves we could make a like a simple, like kind of Pong-esque basketball game. Um, and then we just kept going from there to the point where we had it like in a multiplayer state and we were learning about cloud variables and, and how two people could play at the same time. So, uh, it was just really fun kind of exploring, uh, and seeing where we could go with the technology we had. Mm -hmm. That's great. And, um, Melissa, maybe what is something besides the product itself that you learned from working with Jamie? Um, I think I learned problem solving and also, um, I think patience too. Yeah. Two very important skills. Um, and now Jamie, it's your turn. What is something that you've learned from Melissa at this magic session? I learned a lot about basketball and, and, uh, what you'd expect in a basketball game. And, um, I was just really proud of. Melissa, like seeing how she was able to work through different things and how confident she was within Scratch was, um, I actually hadn't built a Scratch game before. Um, so we, mm -hmm. I mean, Melissa knew more than me. Uh, <laughs> so she was teaching me on how to use Scratch and we did some tutorials together to get me up to speed on like how to do it. But she was super confident, just like moving blocks around and and making these really complicated things. So mm -hmm. yeah, I learned a lot as well. Mm -hmm. Melissa, how do you feel teaching your mentor how to build a thing? Um, I think it was fun um, just sharing like what I knew to her mm -hmm. and also some stuff like I didn't know. Um, Jimmy will also help me, which I think we like kind of helped mm -hmm. each other. So it sounds like the two of you had a really um, great time um, relying on each other, mm -hmm. learned different things. 
Yeah. yeah. Would you say that that's um, one of the, um, or hold on, let me, let me correct my question. <clears throat> um, what are some other benefits to having um, a mentor and a mentee work together? Um, I think, um, sorry, can you like repeat the question? Sure, and it's for both of you. So what are some other benefits besides, you know, relying on each other to learn something new um, to having a mentor and a mentee work together on a project? Um, I think like, um, maybe just like, yeah, patience, I think too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think uh, when we when we were fixing bugs, you know, both of us were throwing mm -hmm. out ideas like maybe we should try that. Maybe we should try that. So it was just two brains generating ways to get around the issues that came up. Mm -hmm. Well, your two brains came up with an amazing uh, project, so you should be very proud. Um, so um, the question I've been asking a lot mentees is if you um you know next year in school say one of your friends or mate wants to join magic what would you tell them um, about your experience um I think I'll say to definitely join magic because it's just mm -hmm. a great experience and you learn a lot from doing like your project and it can definitely help you like in the future with more advanced projects. Wonderful. Great. Well, we, we love to hear that um, when our mentees refer others to our programs. So again, both of you should just be so proud for the work that you have put in this session um, and the presentation that you gave us. Um, and so uh, good luck with the rest of the school year. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.